welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look right here I actually posted a picture on Instagram asking you ladies if you guys would like to see a makeup tutorial on this look and a lot of you said yes so you ask and you shall receive so I'm just going to show you how to get this really nice blown out purple smoky-ish type of look I am using my Shaney Cosmetics uh, what's it called the masterpiece seven layers all-in-one makeup sets I've had this for years I've mentioned it a couple of times I swear if you are a makeup artist or a freelance artist or if you are just a makeup hoarder like me you need this box in your life because it comes with tons of colors all of them are super pigmented you're also getting concealers and blushes and whatnots. I will have the link down below. Um, I'm not affiliated with them or anything. I just honestly love this huge box. And for the price, you really can't go wrong. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to learn how to get this pretty little makeup look, then just keep on watching. So first I'm going to take the NYX eyeshadow base in the color Skin Tone. And I'm just going to be applying that all over the lid. Quickly going to set that base with the Sexy Mama um, by the Balm. It's a translucent powder, and I'm just gonna set the eyes. I'm gonna take this palette, and I'm gonna be taking this color right here. This is the Shaney Cosmetics Seven Layer Masterpiece, and this is the purple palette. So I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna take the Sedona EB15. Um, brush. Now I'm going to take the Sigma Tapered E40 and I'm going to blend that out. I'm going to take a smaller brush. This is the Luxie 237 Blending. I'm going to grab that same color and bring it in. I just don't want to take too much of the lid. And once again, blending. I'm going to go back and I'm going to take this purple and I'm just going to layer it on top of that pinkish color just because I don't want too much pink. I want it to be a little bit more purple. I'm going to go back into that palette. And I'm going to take this one right here. It looks like a really black, I don't know, but it's like a really dark plum. And I'm going to take like a really flat skinny brush. Um, this is no specific brand. And I'm going to just really carve out um, my crease. Now I'm going to go back into the NYX skin tone and I'm going to reapply it just to the center of the lid because that's where I want the white to go. And I'm just going to clean up a little bit. So now I'm going to take a white eyeshadow and I'm just going to use this, use whatever we have, and I'm just going to pack that onto the lid. My camera died, so I just finished off my eyes. I applied eyeliner um, and I also applied some lashes. These are the Eyelore Vegas Nay. Grand Glamour eyelashes. These are the ones that I've been wearing non-stop and I just clipped in some extensions because my battery takes forever to charge. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish off the face and then we can just move on to the eyes. I'm going to take a mix of these. This is the NYX Angel Veil and this is the Benefit Professional. I'm going to use this to fill in my pores and then the NYX Angel Veil just to apply it pretty much everywhere else on my face. Thank you. 
Now for foundation, I'm going to take the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in the color Syracuse. And I'm going to be taking the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush and I'm just going to buff that into the face. Now for foundation or uh, concealer, I'm gonna take the Maybelline Master Conceal, and I'm just going to bring that here. And with that same brush, I'm just gonna buff everything in. To set that under eye concealer, I'm going to use the Lorac Pro Contour Palettes and I'm going to mix the yellow highlight and the beige highlights and I'm just going to pretty much heavily um, bake with this. And I'm going to use this Fit Me powder. It's like a setting powder but I'm going to use it as just like a bronzer. This is in 330. Um, Toffee Caramel and I'm just going to use the Large Ingles Contour F40 Sigma brush. And then for blush, since I am wearing purple, I wanted to keep it's type of mauve so I'm going to use this e.l.f. baked blush or this is not the baked blushes these are the pressed mineral blushes and this is in wanderlust as you can see it's a mauve color Now I'm going to move on to highlight. This is, uh, surprise, surprise, a Luxie Beauty Highlights in Centerfold. This is just a gorgeous highlight, and I'm going to take that on a Sedona FB01 brush, which is just a huge fan brush. And I'm just going to... So now I'm going to finish off the eyes. I don't want to wear black eyeliner, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that darkest shade, and I'm going to apply it to the lower lash. And then I'm going to take the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara and I'm just going to coat my bottom lashes. And for the inner corners, I'm going to be using this one by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is Chic, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And I'm just going to pack that on to the inner corner of the eye. And then to finish off the look, I'm going to go in with this Ulta Matte Lip Cream in the color Tender. And it's just a nice like peachy nude color. So once you finish off with your lips, then you are completely done with this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And as always, let me know what other videos you guys would like to see. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in my next video.